Your next talk today comes from Gareth Allen. Gareth is the Managing Director of Soundview Media, a media agency based in Plymouth, UK. Now in this talk, he's gonna be focusing on how his team created a virtual reality experience to help open up the Giva Tin Mine Heritage site to more and more people. Enjoy. Hello and thanks for joining me for this presentation. I hope New Normal is treating everybody well in this difficult time. So what I want to talk to you about today is inclusive immersive, using VR to make the invisible visible. So how we can begin to think about using immersive technologies to help accessibility and inclusivity in um, all of the things that we do. I'm Gareth Allen and I'm the Managing Director of Soundview Media and we work with businesses across the southwest of England and in the UK and further afield. And there's a story that I want to tell you about today which um, illustrates one of the projects that we're very proud to have worked on which gets inclusivity into the heart of, it, of what we're doing and accessibility into the heart of what we're doing when we're using interactive and immersive technologies. So this story is about Givo Tin Mine and we created an interactive accessible VR tour for them. And just to tell you about uh, the people in this picture here. So I'm Gareth, the, uh, the one on the, the person on the right with the patterned shirt. And then Finley is uh, sat in front of me. He's one of uh, the team at Soundview, as is Chris, who's in the red chair. And then we worked with Heritage Ability. So um, on the left of the screen there is... Um, Star and Marianne from Heritage Ability and the two gentlemen in the middle at the back there work for Giva Tin Mine, that's um, Jack and Mike. And um, Giva Tin Mine is, uh, is, a, is a visitor attraction, used to be a working um, tin mine in, in the far west of Cornwall, uh, now a visitor attraction. And um, it's, a, it's an amazing place, anyone that's ever been there would, would have um, experienced the, the, the incredible story of Cornish tin. But the uh, parts of the site aren't accessible to everyone. So the, the mine itself is very difficult to get into if you have reduced mobility. Um, the mill, the place where the um, tin was, the, the rock was crushed and the, the ore was extracted, um, that is impossible to access if you have reduced mobility, as are the natural landscapes around the cliffs. So we worked with Heritage Ability and uh, Givor Tin Mine to create this um, immersive 360 video experience. And we, we did this so that uh, people, visitors with reduced mobility could have a better experience when they were visiting this, this heritage site. So we drew, drew on everybody's expertise to create this truly immersive experience for people with disabilities. And um, I wanna share a film with you now to, to talk about how we actually did that. At Soundview Media, we've combined our skills of working in immersive technologies with our passion for breaking down barriers to access for people with disabilities to create groundbreaking, accessible virtual reality tours. The 360 VR video tours allow access in virtual reality at least to heritage sites that would otherwise be impossible. We developed the pioneering content with Devon-based Heritage Ability with the aim of making heritage accessible to all. Okay. First of all, let's get your eye line right, so you can address the camera, that's fine. You've got your, you've got your script. We are using a Fusion. Uh, this is a product that GoPro make that gives you a full 360. Uh, and it also has ambisonic sound, so you can hear and you can see all the way around you. We have got a wire rule. Um, it's a long wire with a cable and a caddy on it, and I can control it so we can have the camera moving along um, and we can control it really slowly. So that's the important thing with VR. You need to, if you're going to move, you need to move slow and steady. We're always looking for unique ways of trying to make parts of the site available to everyone. And this was a great opportunity to actually showcase parts like the underground, which is very difficult to access if you have any issues getting down there. And the mill as well, there's lots of steps, that's a difficult building. So both of those places, we needed to find ways of making them available. And this was a great opportunity to do that. And actually gives you views and experiences that you wouldn't get otherwise. You wouldn't get from just walking through the building. In the past, we've obviously, there's stuff we can offer. We can tell them to come and see the film, 
that gives them a bit of an understanding, but we've never really been able to say, you can experience our underground, you can experience the mill, until now. I've been to lots of different sites before and uh, you don't get to see uh, as much as you want to quite often because it's not accessible and that's quite frustrating when other people come back and tell you what they've seen but you can't see it for, for yourself. Um, but now um, with this um, VR uh, film you can, well you can see everything and it's, it's great really because you feel like you're in the room. Uh, it's not like being uh, on TV screen, it's like you're actually in the mine. I think what we really need to understand here is the uh, barriers to access that these two great people face every single day. Oh, it's, been a, it's been a fabulous journey. I mean, we had the idea ages ago, but we didn't have the opportunity to do it. So when a little bit of money came along, we knew we had the chance. And I think we really landed on our feet with finding Soundview Media. They've been amazing. And so we've worked with them and we've got exactly what we wanted. And uh, Eva is the best place to showcase the work. We've come a long way with this piece of product. This uh, bit of technology has been really useful to show what it can do, but we can do more. Uh, there are more sites that can be um, accessed in this way and there are more uses for this technology as well. That was just a, a really amazing experience being able to, to work on that project. And, and what happened? Well, as a result of um, the project, it, that got loads of media coverage both online on radio and on TV so this brought a new audience to Giva people that didn't think that they were able to visit Giva or didn't think that Giva was a, the kind of place where they were going to get a really good experience all of a sudden um, people were they were getting inquiries from people saying yeah we'd, we'd really love to come and um, experience your virtual reality tour so think about how your um, your immersive experience the the, the the, the things that you're creating within your businesses can be applied and to, to make um, your your business and, and your products accessible to people. And um, apart from it being the right thing to do, there's another really, really good reason for you to be thinking about access. And um, this is um, a fantastic um, infographic from uh, purple.org who um, campaign on, on behalf of people with disabilities and if you have a look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen there's a phenomenal figure there 249 billion pounds is the spending power of disabled people and their households and that uh, uh, continues to increase every single um, year and then um, the uh, the middle um, statistic there the 75 percent it says 75 percent of disabled people and their families have walked away from uk business because of poor accessibility or customer service and while i'm surprised that is only 75 percent um, i imagine that that is quite possibly a lot higher than that and if you also have a look on at the the, the um, graph the, the block chart there on the on the top right of the screen you might recognise a, a, a business that you work in or work with, and that, that's to do with the loss of money of businesses per month in the in the UK. In the UK, so for example, if you're a phone or internet provider, there's forty nine million pounds being lost. So that certainly is um, food for thought. Um, and this is the kind of media coverage that. Um, this is a, this is more specifically about heritage sites like 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 Giva, but I mean you can have a look at the statistics here. Um, British heritage sites not inclusive enough. Survey show twenty nine percent of ch parents of children with special needs felt unwelcome, and forty two percent were made to feel uncomfortable on visits. And I would really think about you know that th heritage sites are are places where they need interactives, where they need digital materials to tell stories. And um, the, these are the very places where I think that we can be using our skills and, and engaging with people. So, and it, it's not just about heritage sites. We've worked with a whole um, range of different businesses to create VR video and 360 video um, online, uh, video experiences. And actually, um, during this pandemic, we've just created, we've recently created a, a Vimeo channel, which is vimeo.com forward slash stay at home. And uh, what we've done there is we've uh, posted all of our 360 videos on there so that people, if they have a headset, 
um, they can go outside and access <laughs> in virtual reality at least um, all of the wonderful places that we've um, created in, in 360 video. And you don't need a headset to watch that. You can watch that on your mobile or on your tablet or on your desktop computer. So that's vimeo.com forward slash um, stay at home and, and you'll find loads of different content on there. So I'm just looking at Fabi there on the top left hand side of the screen. There's a VR, ex, a VR video experience with a close up and personal with Fabi and then on the right hand side there are some penguins there. There's a wild penguins on the Falkland Islands uh, being very curious about the um, camera there, the, the 360 camera. So um, who'd have thought when we were creating this accessible content for people with reduced mobility that actually this content all of a sudden would would become would create accessibility for all of us to the places that that we can't currently visit. Um, and um, that channel is is getting um, stacks and stacks of weekly views at the moment with people going and in, in inverted commas visiting their favorite places. So how can you use um, um, XRVR 360 video within your business? Well, online, obviously, as I've just described, um, on, on your mobile, but on the road as well, when we, when we get unlocked, you can take your business to trade shows in, in 360 VR. And of course, we can use headsets to, to, um, to experience this fully immersive um, technology. So finally today, I, I want to return to the, the Giva story and uh, this next film that I'm going to show you uh, was um, created by BBC Online and um, when they came to cover the, the, the launch of the, the VR experience, um, they came across 84-year-old Alvira, Alvira Albro, who um, was visiting the site that day and this was her first experience and interaction with uh, virtual reality. lot of structure here. Different. Is this where they um, crushed the yeah, ore? Really. Or... Oh, thank you for that. Back into the real world. Oh. <laughs> Giva was the perfect site to pick as it's inherently inaccessible due to being industrial heritage. So we had the mine, which we know that you can't get a wheelchair in. So we thought Giva was the perfect place. It brought back to me what my ancestors must have gone through, especially the ones that climbed down ladders and walked out under the seabed and did a hard day's graft and then back again, climb the ladders to get back to fresh air. So I absolutely love that film. I think, it, I think it's wonderful. And I think what it shows is how we can all use um, immersive experiences, no matter uh, what your ability, no matter what your age. I think we have created something for everyone there. And thank you so much to Elvira for, for being such a good sport on that day and, and fully immersing herself. And, and I think what's really interesting as well is um, it, it's opened up other realizations. So how, how, how she was remembering past times and we're now doing some work about outreach in the community, um, taking these experience, working with a, um, a coal mine in South Wales, um, how they're going to take that those experiences out into their community so sharing these experiences where people are socially isolated and again that chimes with with where we are currently in these times so um, I, I think that's what's been really exciting for us in this journey is is the new realizations as we've as we've created this about, about thinking about how we can apply our skills and our experiences um, to, to new audiences and, and taking people to new spaces and places um, people, where people, new audiences that wouldn't otherwise have been able to, um, to access these, these spaces. So there we go. Thank you very, very much for, um, for, for um, listening and watching this presentation today. I'm Gareth Allen. Um, uh, you can find out more about the business, savvymedia.co.uk. And then don't forget um, the, uh, the Vimeo channel, the 360 video Vimeo channel, 
is uh, vimeo.com slash stay at home. Um, thanks very much and goodbye.